if if you can make a change if you can make the world a little bit better shall you do it? do you know? you can do it instead of playing lip service to all the injustice of this world what can you do? go on vegan if you are going vegan you will be a far less burden on the planet on one acre of land, you can feed around six people on a plant-based diet. Now, it takes around three acres of land to feed one somebody on an American-style, somewhat Western-style average diet. It takes up from five to twenty-six. Uh, pounds of plant products dependent on the animal in question to create one pound of animal flesh you produce around 80 kilograms of carbon dioxide into the air uh, methane uh, the equivalent of uh, 80 kilograms of um, carbon dioxide um, so if you are making calculation from carbon dioxide to methane. Methane is around uh, 25 to actually uh, 100 times as potent for the environment as CO2 on a scale of 100 years. And they have around um, 80 times the global warming potential, 85% global warming potential. So, Basically, if you are not driving your car for around a month, you spare around maybe dependent on your car, of course. Around 20 to 40 kilograms of carbon of uh, greenhouse gas, carbon dioxide. So, not eating animals is far better for the environment. Also, if you're not caring about the environment, or you're just a greedy, uh, if you're just a, a climate change denier, then you must also know that any two seconds a chance are from salvation. Do you know why? It is because what I said before, it takes up to 25 pounds of plant product to produce one pound of animal flesh. There's some protein, vitamins, carbohydrates, a uh, fast producing company in return. It is actually the animal shit also allowed a lot of stuff. They are not precarious, you silly people, your brainless people. <laughs> Yes, animals are not protarians. They don't live on air and lights. They need to eat. They need to shit. So, you know, you have lots of manure which create ocean death zones. Uh, we have around more. Uh, we have more than 500 of them today. In the 1950s, we just had around five of them, by the way. So. To the mafia people. people. Also, around 82% of all the animals on this planet are living in third world countries. Their food is given to livestock and the food of the people that they are, live there. Because of um, the way capitalism works and the way greed works and then those animals are fattened up and eaten by people in the west mainly and by the rich people in those countries 
This world give enough for anybody's needs, but not enough for anybody's greed. Like Gandhi said, are you going to apply lip service to all the problems on this planet? We are actually are not doing something to change it. Or are you going to be a person with fire? Somebody who has a spine. Somebody who is not a spineless little spoiled brat. Somebody who is responsible and not let himself be driven uh, by ego and by gluttony. Somebody that's that does not make excuses, that's somebody you should make. On the moment you stop making excuses, you become illuminated. You become enlightened. On the moment you are starting to learn to think, instead of following. The moment you become critical of your society and the culture you're born in, that's the moment you become a person of fire. What's your excuse? I know a lot of them. And I know they are all invalid. Before you tip something, Twalish in my comment section. Let I remember you. I did not be born vegan. Gary Yurovsky was not born vegan. Most vegans are not born that way. There's also not an excuse to make excuses for you. Imagine that you were born in a mafia family. And one day you find out uh, the other way of the Mafia way of life. And you are trying to explain that there is another way. That there is a way to go and get your money in an honest way. In a not criminal way. In a not scummy way. In a not cruel way. But then your society say, we are going to do things the way we are, have always done. We are not open to your opinions and then they say also your opinion so it is your opinion if you are in that scenario that uh, you should respect them just because they are your family just because there are have uh, that are grow that you have grown up with them just because they're in your kind of culture that you are in grow up no Excellent not. Absolute not. No deal. I think. And also, then they say that you, that you can do that way. But you have to respect the Mafia way of life. Not people. Let us say you this. Violence have always to come in peace with the compassionful person with the one who supports the least amount of cruelty it is not the other way around so many people are wrong that they think that if you are just nice and just you are Gandhi if run and nice anybody will change but that's not how it works Sometimes you are, give them a little bit tough love. You have to to, to punch them and let them fall down so they grow, can come back up. If people are doing psychotic stuff, if people are doing Things are that are cruel, and I say you, things that are cruel, not in the eyes of the oppressor, 
if you are not the victim, don't imagine it entirely from your point of view. Because then it comes pretty easily to mock your victims and make fun of their entire system. Say that they're stupid and dirty. And then say that they'll have to prove to you why you should be kind to them. But when you are a victim, or speaking for the victims, I suggest you can understand. That things look a lot different from that point of view. So, check your privilege, people. Check your privilege. Spoiled. Brats. I think that I have to respect their position. Just because it is legal. Legal, legal means good and yeah, stupid. This is what people are actually that say the law is equal to justice. There are stupid, there are bigots, there are fools, there are slaves. People who are not want to reason uh, are bigots. People who don't can reason are fools. And people who are afraid to reason are slaves. When darkness and light become one, reality splits them away, and the truth becomes visible. I see you next time, and go vegan. Stop making excuses, and stop playing lip service to all the problems of this world, where you are actually are not responsible for, and you are not trying to do something against in reality. Words are empty, actions is what matter.